You're fired. Thank you. You're my wife. You're my partner. You're Harry. <laughs> I can't have fun about this moment the other. Da, 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 da. Where's the host of the show? Dude, I haven't sent him a memo about hosting. If he sucks, he doesn't read my memos. <laughs> Okay, wait a second. Did you, in fact, read my memo? Did you understand it? But the part where I said, Hey, Mike, you know what would be really funny? If you really played up the host thing and said, Hey, and good evening and welcome to the Not-So-Newlywed Game. <laughs> or is this meek and mild version you're giving us your version of really playing up that host thing? God, that guy overacts. <laughs> now, can I just point out one little thing? <laughs> yeah, we got an issue here. Sure. Producer. And host. <laughs> we have four contestants on the show, correct? Yeah. Amy, can you hear anything Mike Jones is saying? <laughs> no, I cannot. Matt, can you hear anything Mike Jones is saying? That's a negative. Hey, you know what I just noticed? You have very nice ears. Do you know how I know? Because they're not covered with headphones. Yeah. You can't hear a thing the guy in the in so, Nuremberg is saying. If Mike Jones is going to continue to be the host, he is going to have to come into this studio and go on that microphone. You know what's cool, though? That's how I envisioned it. Because all of a sudden I went, how did this go so wrong? He's got to come in here and play around. Yeah. So he's coming on in here. <clears throat> Does, is the only person who has the music Mike Jones in the other room? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, right. Mike Jones is the only one that has, and also has no headphones either. No, that's okay though. Mike. All right, so here I'm okay. going to sing the song. Mike do, Jones do. Song. I hate it. Should we fire him? Let's kill him. Let's just fire him. Let's put some good stuff in this food. Okay, Mike, how's it going there, buddy? Good, good. <laughs> All right, good. Let's put some headphones on here so you he couldn't hear us. One and a two and a one, two, three. Da, 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 Oh, welcome to the not so Celebrity Edition! <laughs> Our first couple is a beloved member of an iconic Hollywood family, and her husband is Danny Bonaducci! <laughs> 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 Alright, make it up for lost ground right there! Please welcome Amy and Danny, everybody! Yay! Pookie, or whatever, they, do they say stuff on the show at this point? Sure! <laughs> no, they don't, they just wave hi. Thanks, Bob! For the host yeah. to cue them. Couple number two is one of the <laughs> fastest rising talents working for the CBS Corporation and his fiance Sarah. Let's hear it for Matt. And Yay! Sarah. Oh no, you guys suck. You're going down in flames. I don't remember that happening on the show. Oh, okay, I didn't really stop the show, man. I was like five. I wasn't getting married. Uh, Matt, we asked Sarah to Matt! answer a series of questions. She now holds the answer to those questions in cards near her lap somewhere. Each time your answer matches hers, you'll be given five points. I hope Will is keeping score over here. Okay. The couple with the most points will win a fabulous prize package chosen especially for you. Ooh. Yay! Yay! It includes a, a cute red Fiat from Tacoma Dodge and new beds for everybody from Sleep Country. <laughs> awesome! Hey, wait a and we'll drive to the Quinault Resort Casino and, and Spa in our brand new car, courtesy of Phil Bivens. Let's throw out some sucking up, dude. Let's not be stupid. <laughs> Yeah, these prizes are retroactive. Yeah, by the way, we don't really get any of these prizes. Are you ready, Matt? Very ready. Question number one. Hey, put that card down, you cheating bitch. Look at that. Sarah being such a fine pillar of the community. Matt's starting to lift his card up involuntarily. Not, not cheating. Not, not cheating. <laughs> Hang on. One of us. <laughs> Wait, you get to your questions in a minute. Okay. Matt was involuntarily just sort of he lifting up the ready, front of his yeah. card so he could flip it up fast when the end time came. Very nice. He wasn't trying to cheat in any way. But just in case Sarah could see it, she reached over and kind of slapped his hand and put the cards down. So let me just say, Sarah is intrinsically honest. I, I hate and cheating. I appreciate I mean, that. I'd rather lose honestly than, see, than to win oh, cheating. I only care that this turns out funny. I, I, that's, so that's far, we're not achieving our No, goal. so far we're sucking, and I'm blaming Mike on that one. Okay. All right, so what are we doing here? Who's getting asked a question? Number one, uh, Matt, what would Sarah say is your favorite candy? Ooh! Butterfinger. Butterfinger! Sarah said. Sarah said. A uh, big, league big league chew. Big league chew. Yeah, no, hit him on the card. Chew? So it counts. Yes, yeah, your card. Well, I guess I'm playing little league baseball <laughs> this week. <laughs> what? Okay, big but I'm saying chew. All right, Matt's rocking the house, but I'll play the Sarah part. You know it's a chew. 
How do you not say Lily Chew in mine for nine years? They don't actually hurt Sarah, Miss Overprotective. <laughs> I have a concussion now. <laughs> join, join the club, dude. You don't even dude. like candy. Well, since when did you eat Butterfinger? <laughs> since about as many times as I've had Big League Chew. <laughs> One more time than that. It was, it was a cannibal reference. Right. I ate everything Butterfinger. Question. Ah, 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 I oh, thank you. <laughs> I all week. Matt, how many times a week do you take a shower? Oh, I'm so glad we didn't get that one. <laughs> Less than the number of days there are in a week. So I'll go with five. Oh, 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 four. four. What I really wanted to say is as few as he possibly can. Uh, but... can do you want to answer in uh, um, unison? Well, my definition of a bath is different than yours. <laughs> Did you say bath or shower? shower. Either one. So right. Well, our answer is this. I've taken, in the last two weeks since we've lived in this house, I've taken uh, several showers and plenty of baths. That's not even how it went. All right, bitch. I mean, this is, this is a goddamn shower. Now, do you count, like, taking a washcloth to your underarms as taking a shower? And dunking his head in the sink? Yes, he does. <laughs> she was talking to me. Yes, I do. <laughs> But I also take scalding hot water and a bar of soap and do the whole naughty bits part. Because that's not fair to walk around with that going on. Um, I. This video is will it, be on the website. Is it information when you actually reenact scrubbing your... <laughs> By the way, I use caffeinated soap. We just found this caffeinated soap. My penis has been awake all night. Okay, yeah, back we, to you. We are only to question number three. <laughs> Silence there. Wow. How much time passed between when you met Sarah and you asked her out? I made that face too. <laughs> this is a hard one. Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say that, but we're different answers. Let's go with three months. Three months, Sarah said. Three, three months. months! Wow! Yay! Yay. 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 That top Sarah's prediction that they would get zero right. I really I didn't think we were gonna get any right. That that was a difficult one because we worked together. And yeah, you know, so we we knew each other and we're spending time together. So until he said, I really I, want to sleep with you, can we go out? I think that was three months. I think, I was going to say, I think your questions were harder. But now that I think about it, I think we'd have gotten a lot of those, right? Wouldn't we? I think so. Because I'm a filthy, disgusting pig, so we'd have gotten the bath thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'd have done fine. We'd have done okay. All right. Well, we what happens now? Oh, it's dude. Question number four. Matt, oh, this movie of your one. life, which actor would Sarah cast as you? I wish I... I wish I knew actors' names, first of all, because you, uh, you I'm know what? terrible as, at that part of this. As the host of the Danny Bonucci Show, but not the Daily Hunt game, I bestow <laughs> on you the powers to use descriptions. You know that guy with the thing okay. of the ears? The Stifler guy from American Pie. Sarah said... Sean William Scott Stifler! Is that the Stifler's name? Yeah! Awesome! Yeah. Stifler! Oh. Hey, did, did, I did, him Val did I just help out the enemy there? You did. They got well, hey, I think that's totally disqualification. <laughs> you just described the guy. Too late. Right, no yeah. no take backs. Be, uh, it would be Stifler or Val Kilmer to play Matt in the movie. Doesn't yeah. Val, Kilmer ha Val Kilmer have like stuff on his face now, though, as he's gotten older? It's not really and aging he's a well. Dick, man. Yeah. But I hear he but, doesn't shower much, so maybe you can. <laughs> Stifler and Val Kilmer, I always get those two confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sarah, uh, it's your turn now. We asked Matt a series of questions. Let's, let's oh, see how wow. well you match his answers. Okay. What color is your toothbrush? What color is my toothbrush? Yes. Purple. And he said, white, white and purple. Uh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Judges confer for sure. Is, is purple and white and purple the same thing? Let us go to the committee. Survey says. The host says yes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Danny forgot that he didn't have veto okay. power on him. Apparently, apparently, the rainbow will count as a correct answer yeah, for what the Every, every, every all the bristles are white. Yeah, and you get yeah. toothpaste, residual toothpaste. Does it have a stripe down right like one side of it? Is it as much white as it is purple? That's a lot of details I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving it to you anyway. Uh, at what sport or game would Matt say you are better than him? Ooh, wow. At what That's sport or game? Yes. Would Matt say you are better than he is? Uh... I guess I would probably say Scrabble. And Matt said... BAM! Boom. BAM! Kaboom! 
was gonna say hockey because we'd have to fight. Well, my yeah. original answer was nothing, but I didn't think I could get away with that. <laughs> no, nope, this couple that was in here the other day, their answer was nothing, nothing. twice, and they and won. We won, Danny, but he still wouldn't have been the winner. I would have kicked his ass for saying something like that. That's, that's true. Well, the radio, you're a professional, for God's sakes. Right, question number three. <laughs> what would Matt say is the worst place you ever made whoopee? Come on, somebody say it. You know you're all thinking it. <laughs> I really want to say that, Bob. <laughs> Can you repeat the question? What would Matt say is the worst place you ever made whoopee? The bathtub. The bathtub. Matt said his crappy apartment oh. in New York City. Yeah, but that would mean we got a lot of bad sex. <laughs> See, I, I thought he said Idaho because I was sure he said in Butte, Bob. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure it's still a good joke. And finally, thank you. If you and Matt could watch one only one TV show for the rest of time... Oh, I wish I got that fucking bastard! Sorry. Which would you choose? <laughs> Can you say that again? <laughs> oh, I wish I got this one, you bastard! <laughs> if we could only watch one TV show for the rest of our lives, what would it be? What would you choose? Oh. What would I choose? Something starring that Stifler guy. Forgetting Matt for a moment, what would you choose? What would I choose one TV show to watch for the rest of our lives? Uh, Jeopardy. No, I'm doing the Vulcan oh, mind meld either then. Come on! And I happen to know Matt's right! I happen to know Matt is even right! But You're obsessed with that chick? Now I'm obsessed with Mark Harmon. Mark Harmon! But I didn't want to say that because it hurts his feelings. This is over. that I really want to get with Mark Harmon. Yeah, we all knew that one. Uh, so you thought you'd miss the question and then tell us all that? I was ready yeah. for a little celebration yeah. dance, <laughs> my fiat keys and everything. That made me feel all that much better. How many did we get right? Not enough. Four? Well, I don't know, dude. Bad. Yikes. First of all, I didn't know we were asking both sets of the couple's part. I just answered my question. I thought that was the half, and I yelled my answer, and then she hit me in the head with cards, and we all went home. That part's coming. Yeah, but I didn't know she got to <laughs> ask any questions. Oh, yeah. She okay, wow. Well, I'm excited. All right, dun, 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 dun. I'll take a blow. <laughs> and now let's go to couple number two. Now you do, you do a couple number two. Danny, it's your turn to try to match answers with Amy. Yes. Question number one. Who would Amy say is your favorite movie star? Oh, man. This is tricky because I have a real answer and it's not this, but I am going to go with, just because it was all over the radio the other day, Tom Scarrett. Oh, I'm scared, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. Oh, Sly, just on the show with me, like nicking his face, but saying you know, you're my you favorite actor. I do love him, but he's also my favorite writer. He's my like, superhero, but Tom Scarrett stood right where Mike is, and I said, You're my favorite actor. I have it on tape. Do you listen to the show? Give us. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Delicious. All right, let's try question number two. Huh? Yeah, I hope it's less violent. If you could own any kind of car, which car would Amy think you would choose? Except for a Fiat. We'll just toss it out. Right, right, of course. And anything they sell at Phil Bivens. Right, any of those you would take. But in a dream world... In a dream world, it would be a Ferrari. We said. saw one of these at the airport yesterday, and you told me how much you wanted one. BMW convertible. Oh, I said it was okay. I don't think this is going on. Okay. No, you thought you, you were like the hard top falls in the like trunk. The, I like the Cadillac hard top convertible better, but they're not, it's not even the ballpark of my favorite cars. I just thought it was neat. Oh my god, that's a lie. Let's <laughs> reenact this moment. Hey, look at that BMW. I've never seen that one before. What model is that? Oh, it's the something something I need. Wow, oh look, it's so and cool. it's the top goes into the trunk. Yeah, it's the trunk. You don't even have to do anything. I would never get a rag top when I get one just like that. Like that. Yeah, where does the word favorite pop in? Are you guys going to get During any of these questions right? <laughs> hey, you shut up, dude. <laughs> You're my work wife. We should play you and me next. <laughs> I'm going to write down all my answers, see if I get them right. Okay, you yeah. suck, by the way. Danny and Sarah is will. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, question number three. How much did you spend on your most expensive pair of footwear? Do I want to come across as a normal person? Or do I want to we know about your cowboy boots, you can be honest. Although you gotta think, what would Amy say? What would Amy say? This game sucks, <laughs> man. This, this game can break you up. I just told Matt what my guess was. Let's see if your real wife can get it right. Well, oh, I didn't pay for the most expensive pair that were $1,500. Somebody else Ooh, did, so I'm gonna say $300. Yeah. Said five hundred dollars. That's okay. How are you supposed to know? That's a Why are you looking at me like that, dude? Hit him again. I knew you'd embarrass me. 
Um, why would being in here be <laughs> All I do is embarrass you. This is true. Dude, at the airport, you should have seen him. Stop that! I wasn't even doing it. I couldn't even figure out what I was doing wrong, but I knew I was supposed to. Stop that! Question number four. <laughs> if you were a superhero, Danny, what one superpower would Amy say you would like to have? Uh, see through vision, so I can see boobies and oh beavers everywhere. God. Oh boy. See, and I told oh. my job. I have super strength. I said that's Ofer. too cliche. Ofer. Too cliche? Who do you think you're talking to? What's her backup? Amy, let's see how well your answers match Danny's. What would Danny say is the first thing he noticed about you? Oh. My smile. Are you hot? <laughs> <laughs> You walk around with those things attached to your body. I didn't notice. I didn't notice you had a head till our fifth date. Your card there, Dan. What did you say? I said. Make sure it's the right one. Okay. Her rack. Oh. Uh, question number two. Dude, look at it, Matt. You're a guy. I, What's the first thing you notice about This isn't rack? called the wishful thinking game. It's called. The, uh, yeah. Right, That's Matt. What did you wish? What did you first notice about rack? Him? Rack. He's not even married yet, he's noticed you rack. I almost wrote it down before Danny even answered. <laughs> You're a crazy person. All right, question number two. If you, Amy, were stuck on a desert island with just one record, which would Danny say you would want? Uh, Beatles, Abbey Road. Oh. Abbey Road! Abbey Road! <laughs> By the way, Abbey Road was just totally arbitrary on my part. It was just any Beatles album. That's the one I knew right off the end. And then I was going to go, wait, isn't there one called Revolution or something? Wait, Abbey Road. Uh, ah! And then I fritzed out and said, Abbey Road. Abbey Road. You were about cool. to, to you know, gain her love and trust back by actually knowing her with that question, and then you just threw it all out. <laughs> Dude, that's okay. She's calling 1-800-DIVORCE for men. Rick Jones, I hope you're listening to this show. We got, let's see, we got Phil Bivins. We're sucking up to Bivins. What else are we suck it up to in this show? Sleep country. Sleep country and now divorce for men, one eight hundred divorce. I think this <laughs> is I apologize for that was professional. I don't know how that happened. I think we got it worked, worked up, but I'm sorry. I apologize. This question could repair your marriage. Question number three. Hi, so what time is she eating? <laughs> Maybe which of you would Danny say got the better catch in the marriage? You okay. or Danny? Ask that question again. Like, no, I can't. I probably can't purchase my album and turn my back. Ask the question again, though. Well, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, you, which of you would Danny say got the better catch in the marriage? You or Danny? Danny definitely got the better catch. Oh! oh. 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 Oh, now I know what the next answer is. Oh, <laughs> but I got it, would have gotten it right, too. And he just cheated. <laughs> I didn't mean, cheat. You can make up a question and I'll answer it real quick. And you write something down. Because this question, okay, I got that one right. Right? Yeah, well, uh, yeah you're the better yeah, catch. Yeah. You're a much better human being. Like. But when you held up the card, it said Target. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, you're going to have on your back right after this gets over. What was the question? Yeah. What is but Amy's favorite store? If you were to store? engage in some retail therapy, what store would Danny say is your first store? Yeah, I love Target. I love that one. Yeah. Damn, I suck. But I got, uh, who's the better catch? And I said my wife. Dude, I'm looking good, Stu. Just that's just kind of stupid. You surprised me with that answer. Really? It's oh, no, she's right the way answer. better catch. Right. Dude, who would, who would even pick me? It makes me question her judgment. That's a pretty flaw. She'd marry me. <laughs> All right, so we can't ask the uh, where's her play, play, face to place to shop anymore. But ask, ask something. Uh, Daddy, how many times a week do you take a shower? <laughs> That's a fine shower, though. <laughs> when you get in that water. That depends on what your on what your definition of is is. Right. So are you gonna each gonna write? Well, she's gonna down? write something down, and I'll just scream mine out. Okay. <laughs> well, get a repent. You repent for God's sake. Alright, I'm gonna turn my back. I'll look this way. Alright. How okay. many times a week will Amy say you take a shower? Is that the question? Yes. But remember, I like to take baths. Because he said he, they could nail this one. So, it's a gimme. I didn't say it's a gimme at all. I'm going to say because she wouldn't humiliate me by telling the absolute truth. She might add one. <laughs> Divide by That's two. That's what I was doing. I going, added one. I'm going to come up with three on this. I still <laughs> added one, and it's two. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Once a week? Not, you sleep with me. You're gross. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just dirty. You bone dirty.
dirty people. That's going to do it for the celebrity edition <laughs> well, of the Not So Newlywed Game. Don't you need to score? Go buy some pro flowers to make up for losing. I believe you have lost. Twenty to ten. Uh, we now have a brand new Fiat! <laughs> and you're going to Kowalt Casino uh, and the Resort. Kowalt Casino, Casino and Spa. You got some Vermont teddy bear. No, you got some uh, proflowers.com with the teddy bear and the chocolates. I got a new mattress from Sleep, Mat uh, Sleep Country. Yeah, we're killing on that one, except I don't have any use for mine because there's no way she's boning me now. Hand over the keys. <laughs> no, you don't, no, you don't, my car you don't win our car. Oh. You win a, and a, listen to this and tell me if you recognize okay. this. And a brand new car! <laughs> what part of that says, and a used Fiat from me? <laughs> no, a brand new car! Alright, we have gone down uh, uh, like a measure of Schmidt. Uh, but, uh, uh, I How think do you guys think you did? I mean, because I gotta say, I'm disappointed at Matt and I. We didn't Big Lee no. Chew? Yeah. <laughs> See, I feel like if we had your questions, what's my favorite candy? Uh, Nerd Rose. Yes, it is. See, it, I feel like if we switch questions. Uh, we almost okay, broke okay, up with our favorite, favorite candy. candy? Oh my god, I ate them uh, wait, yesterday! Junior Mints! Okay. Amy, I found heart shaped Junior Mints. Yay! Oh, bitch. <laughs> Ask us some of Cassara's questions. Uh, <laughs> how much time passed between when you met uh, Amy and you asked her out? 30 seconds. Yeah. Well, you can't. Well, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite candy? Uh, Big League Chew? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah 10 points. Uh, so, Amy, are you going to be calling 1 800 Divorce? Because that is who is sponsoring our next segment. Well, I, apparently, that's for men only, so. I don't actually, know. for real, we have an appointment with him. Not today, but I think Thursday. This is appropriate. This is getting off. To just go hang in his awesome house? No, that's what I wrote on his email. Can't we please have our meeting at your house with the AstroTurf floor? Um, he, said, he said no. Things have gotten very uncomfortable, and I think that's a good time for us to take a break and well, load wait. up the phones with uh, life coach. Okay, callers. now, for example, if you were in a problem like, say, you just played the newlywed game or the not so newlywed <laughs> game, and, and you sucked and lost, you'd probably be in big trouble with your wife. But watch this you'd go, I'm sorry, honey. I'm, I'm sorry that we lost. It's just that we're such good friends. I stopped studying you. I just kind of take life as it goes. Do you still love me, dear? No. <laughs> I can do better than that for you. If you want to get in touch with a life coach, give me a call right now. Any kind of problem, I can fix it, including my own. 1-800-252-1025. Call the life coach right now.